say that. You need tea? Do you have tea? I don't have tea or ginger tea. She has coffee. Yeah. Come on. <sighs> See how much you need Jonathan. So proud of you. are doing well. You're a better man. As long as you're 1% better every single day, that's all that matters. Because then you're 365% better. But then what if one day you're 10% worse? <laughs> Whoa. You have a bad, bad day. You go 10% down. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Afnan Khalifa And I'm Coach Sayana And welcome to the Hate to Say It show <laughs> Today's topic, I, I forgot the topic Today's topic, we're going to be talking about love languages Yummy, right? yummy um, It's actually important So mm -hmm. I never knew what love languages are I feel like until I moved to North America Somehow <laughs> they just want to put everything into categor categories Categories, get <laughs> categories, and label everything, and they love putting, you know, this. That's North America. That's America and Canada for you. So just get used to it. <laughs> but um, yeah, love languages are important. Today, Sayana, when I'm talking to anyone, within the first couple conversations, I make sure I know what their love language are mm. and what my love language are, and I need it in order so I know what's your top two. What are what do you? How do you want to be loved? Because it is yeah. important, and we gotta understand. Most of us, we love people how we want to be loved. Yes, right, and I get it, but. Maybe you're not getting the person or the person that was, is with you is not happy because you're loving them how you want to be loved. You're yeah. going to have that communication. Like, Santa, how do you want to be loved? Mm -hmm. Because I know your number one is physical touch, right? Yeah. That's definitely not my number one. I love, you know, don't get me wrong. I love being touched. I love being... <laughs> but like, that's not my number one. My number one is, you know, gifts and words of affirmations. Mm -hmm. So I need you to give me the gifts. I love receiving gifts. And I need you to affirm me more mm. than touch me. Yeah. Right? But imagine if I just think Sayana's the same thing and I keep telling her, you're so beautiful, you're so beautiful. And I never touch her because I'm not a touchy person. <laughs> She's like, yo, this person does not, you know, love me. And we're talking about relationships mainly, but also friendships too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, important for friendships as well. Because, by the way, when we say love languages, it can also apply to even your families, your friendships, your relationships, whatever it business might be. Business partnerships Business too. partnerships even, right? Yeah. And like, to anyone who, first we'll of all... We'll talk about business in a second. We will. But let's first explain to them what even love languages are. Maybe we'll provide a link in, in below. We'll, we'll put it in. You guys can literally take a test. It takes like I'm the link. two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Five love things. languages, right? Words of affirmations, which is just like expressing. You're beautiful. You're amazing. Uh, affirming. Mm -hmm. Reassurance. That's literally what words of affirmation is. Yes. It's just reassuring the person, whether it's just their appearance or the way you love them, just making sure you reassure them. Number two is physical touch. Love being touched, cuddled, so on and so forth. Uh, three is acts of service. I think that's usually men's number one. They do, yeah. Um, they want like they don't care about you telling them they love them. I'm not, I'm not saying everyone. Most mm -hmm. from my experience, what I've seen is they want to see you take care of them, cook for them, you know, love them up, lotion them up, <laughs> nurture, <laughs> must nurture, right? Really genuinely care about them, but just acts of service to show the person that indirectly I really care about you and I really love you. Uh, number four is gifts, uh, and it's receiving usually gifts, right? You love receiving whatever or giving whatever, and then number five is quality time mm -hmm. it's a big thing for me i love quality time yeah um yeah i love spending time with people so those are the five different love languages now when it comes to relationships obviously it will be different and by the way we will say this every human has all five of them it's just which you have them. more yeah right which one you require a lot more yeah. of so i think it really does come down to the basis of just like communication yeah. you always like you just said that we sometimes treat people how we want to be treated but you have to remember that sometimes love looks different to a whole other person it's not the same thing so sometimes yeah i feel very loved when someone is touchy with me and feely with me even with my friends like i love being touchy feely with them you know this i love yeah. to cuddle with feet and she hates this we did this in new york it was established she was like get your feet off of me and i'm like, like why is your feet touching my feet Sianna? what guys, is this i'm a person? pisces i'm ruled by the feet That's i'm not the touching part. no woman's feet Sianna. but they're cute it's feet like you know it's cute so anyways i like physical touch but 
with, with relationships, with friendships, whatever it might be. That's how if if someone touches me, and I'll, I'll say for myself personally, it's because my physical space is very sacred to me. Like very few people get to be like in my bubble. Mm. <laughs> like you don't get to get too close to me physically. I actually yeah. don't like it. That's why if I ever go to clubs and stuff, I hate like I don't like being in clubs too often because if someone hits on me or touches me, and I'm like, oh, the other day we were at a salsa, me uh, off. We're, we're doing uh, like at a salsa place, yeah. and obviously I, I think a person was just walking and they they hit me yeah. a little bit. I literally snapped. Back. I'm like, oh, whoa, sorry. Yeah. It was just like an, you it's know. It's a personal space. Like, yeah, but it was like, I didn't really plan it. They just like almost like bumped into me and I'm like, muscle reaction. On their face. She's and they're like, like what oh is going on? I'm like, I'm so sorry, sir. Yeah. No, I obviously I like my space a lot. So if I let you in my personal bubble and space, I love that. I love yeah. when people do that with me and I love that. But hey, I know some people who don't like to be touched. Mm -hmm. Like they really don't like to yeah, I know, like her. I know. She no, I like to be touched. <laughs> no, I you know what not I mean. Not friendships. But exactly. So they don't like to be touched. Actually, touch I like being touched. Just not feet. I love feet. Well, okay, that was that came out weird. No, no. But anyways, <laughs> I love my feet. Um <laughs> anyways but you have to know how the other person wants to be loved yeah. and, and provide that for them right so if i know that afnan's number one is gifts i'm obviously going to be providing her gifts i'm not going to come be like hey let me just touch you all over like that's not serving that person so it's really really important and again it comes down to communication it's not a bad thing to literally just ask the person like how can i make you feel the most loved and the most yeah. valuable that's a really beautiful like thing how, to ask yeah it's how beautiful. can i make you feel loved yeah because if i if i know you love me and i know you, i love you but like i want to make sure you're loved and in relationships this is a very important conversation to have mm -hmm. how can i make you feel loved like that sentence if someone says that to me we're getting married tomorrow yeah literally and like she said a lot of men will Ladies, you'll be surprised. You guys think men want the stars and the moon sometimes. They will literally tell you the most basic thing that they want. Yeah, they just want to. They really will. They'll be like, clean if you can, please. Help, help me, me do this. Help me put this away. me. Cook for me. Yeah. Like, just simple stuff. And gentlemen, you'll be surprised with what the ladies want as well. Like, y'all right. y'all think that we want to, like... Like, I mean, we want the Rolls Royce and the private that. jets. But yeah. besides that... <laughs> besides, like, I'm the $7 million. Dollars. <laughs> joking. So, why were you going to ask about business? Because I actually want to know. Uh, in business, it's very important, uh, first of all, in communication. Yes. Right? Because we we definitely have different personalities. Mm -hmm. uh, and it depends what kind of business you're doing. I feel like in our business, it's very important to know, okay, how do I need to motivate this person? Yeah. What do I need to do to make them feel like I care about them? Because mm -hmm. I can tell them every single day, you're a superstar. You're amazing. Yeah. You're questioning. And they're like, okay, like, I don't care about that. Yeah. Like, maybe repost my post that's acts of service for me. And that shows me that you really care about me mm -hmm. and you care about my success, for example. Yeah. Or let's say they're more into gifts. So accomplishments that they, like, ranks that they hit. It's like, oh, let me send you this, flowers, or, like, a gift from me. You know, because... Yeah that's what they feel appreciated yeah so for me because i love words of affirmations a lot like it, you know you can repost my stuff that's mm -hmm. fine i like that but like if you just come tell me like i'm so proud of you it means the world to me like i got a message earlier today and they're like i'm thinking about you you're amazing. <laughs> what are you laughing? No, no, it's good. It's good. I'm the laugh. You're powerful. Keep yeah. crushing it. I love seeing you do stuff. And then another girl earlier today, she's like, I love seeing your reels and TikToks. Please do more of them. I'm like, oh, really? Okay. Like that just, I love reassurance. I love reassurance. Do you think that your top love languages or a person's top like I know, just I know exactly what you're asking. <laughs> do you think, I have to go deep. Do you think that a person's top like love languages is what they lacked as a child which is why they need it more sometimes yes mine is 100 percent yes 100 110 million percent i don't have well not that i don't i never had too much affection growing up so me neither I, I, I never it. had a lot of physical touch from like my no. parents now i crave it i do crave it too yeah and like even my second one is gifts I never have a lot of gifts. I never got like don't don't get me wrong. I think we got of, gifts. Like yeah, both of us can agree that we never like our we parents had always really, make sure we were good. Yeah, we never had to like struggle. You know what I mean? And that I sense. wasn't really special, and you weren't special. Yeah, but I was never like flowered with gifts for like, and it doesn't have to be always expensive, but like randomly coming to the house with something special for me that wasn't really the case. Yeah, it was like birthdays and holidays and whatever, which is normal. words of affirmations too. Words of affirmations barely growing, got that. <laughs> growing up. 
you know didn't get like you're beautiful yeah um sometimes like it's not like i mean again we don't have horrible parents i don't think anyone no, have no, horrible no. parents but you get to understand they were raised different mm-hmm. our generation is different they're fighting their own battles mm-hmm. we're fighting their, like we i get it it's it's a whole but yeah like i love you i didn't get that a lot like i feel like middle eastern culture that's not the case yeah um they say it but it's like not daily like some people are like daily like they hear from their parents i love you and i'm like yeah well i feel like my least one and by the way when we say least doesn't mean we don't need it we still need these uh, different love languages was always is always acts of service and i wonder if it's because i grew up as an only child so i was used to my parents doing everything for me already everything like i didn't have to worry about a lot yeah so acts of service i got that a lot i've experienced it it's nice but i'm not like craving that as much i love that you went deep that's actually really true now that like i'm I'm thinking about i'm like this is so true well obviously whenever human beings like something is at the top of your list or something that you really that makes you feel the most special it's because it's it's missing in a certain pair like area of your life yeah. if you have a lot of something you're not gonna really you know want it more want it as much because you're like okay it's cool it's like yeah. it's, but when it's like given to you rarely and it's almost played with your feelings you want it it's more. that chase of like okay i know it's out there so i want more and more and more yeah. of it and whatever we i hate to say it but whatever you kind of lacked as a child in your relationship with either a father or a mother or both is what you really, really look for in a partner. And that's yeah. the gap that you're looking for them to fill. That's the void that you're looking for them to fill because you didn't experience that. Yeah. So I that's... encourage you guys to kind of dig deep. That got went that went a lot deep. I don't even know how I came up with that, but anyway. <laughs> that I was, was like, oh, I wonder why why I love being touched. Yeah. I mean, it was a good that's, thing. <laughs> that's um yeah, I agree. But again, all five love languages. Yeah. But I honestly really encourage people to have that conversation. If you mm. if you're dating someone and you don't know, have that conversation. But if you're just getting to know someone, mm-hmm. I really be doing it first week. I sometimes even first two talks. Yeah. What's your love language? What's my okay? Now that we know, yeah. let me see if this person actually cares enough to really, since I told you to respect what my love language and show yeah. me how I want to be loved. Mm-hmm. Like not love me how you want to be loved. I don't care. So you know? what was your top one gifts? Uh, I feel like gifts words of affirmation like together. Okay, so why don't you kind of because I feel like when when people hear this sometimes they're thinking like how can I apply this to when the person's only upset or how can I get how can this look on a daily basis where by the way when we're saying gifts yes the extra extravagant things but like how can it look on a daily basis like how would that make you feel better if someone like just on a daily basis what you would want that would be like okay yeah I feel really loved by this like something small oh, even. like uh, gifts like imagine like where uh we're at the mall for example and we're just shopping we can be at Zara if all I care about yeah. and I'm like oh my god this shirt is so cute and it's like okay pick your size I'm buying it for you even yeah. if it's like 30 dollars like it will mean like exactly. a lot to yeah. me right um flowers yeah um you know a private jet flight to see them (laughs) (laughs) i knew she was going there that's why i asked (laughs) i knew there was no way she was gonna not say that part you know um a trip to dubai (laughs) together for a week that's a nice gift that's a very nice gift you know a chanel bag (laughs) a bank leaf um you know just just the basics (laughs) no but but even smaller gifts really like mean a lot like i love i love fashion so Mm -hmm. it's it's really you know yeah and what about words of affirmation oh you gotta reassure me every single day i will say this like don't get me questioning confused reassure me don't tell me you're beautiful every single day like it's gonna lose meaning get creative you know what i mean it's like it's just like maybe like looking at me and be like damn yeah it really, really got that like it's so thing. small it's like so small you just gotta ask the person i'm telling you it's all about communication men really think women are just that complex just ask your woman how do you feel the most love what can i do you. and we will literally tell you exactly how to make us feel better yeah i will literally tell you exactly what it is so yeah. it's the same thing for me like when it comes to physical touch if you're around me especially well partner wise especially i just love to i'm not saying you have to be like on top of my head 24 7 but like Always kind of like feet touching, hands touching, this touching, you know, like just random things here and there. It just makes me feel like I'm like seen more. Yeah. I feel like that's what it is. That's a love language, by the way. That's that's a, I, that's the actual pinpoint of love languages. What makes you feel the most seen by your partner seen. or your friends? Mm-hmm. How do you feel the most like 
they see me they hear me they feel me the most yeah so this is why a lot of people need to communicate it more right so and i think by the way for your friends ladies if you find out what their love language is this can also be helpful in like what you're doing for their birthdays or whatever That's might true. be related back a lot of people are like i don't know what to get my friends for their birthday figure it out if your friends number one thing is like an acts of service take them to a massage take them to this yeah ask them okay how can i help you you don't have to worry about work yeah. this day small things keep it in your mind and this is where like she was saying in business this is what will differentiate you from another business owner, entrepreneur, mentor. You're amazing at this. You literally know exactly people's pinpoints. And that's why I think you're so successful with what we do because people, whether you remember it or not, there's that inch of you that remembers it with the people that you really talk to consistently and you know how to treat each person separately. Like, you know how to approach each each person and what their love language is. And I'm telling you, that is what makes you stand out genuinely. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Words of affirmation. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I like this. Is this made my day? Thank you, Sayana. <laughs> I'm happy I got my words of affirmation. That's it. I love that, but I love this conversation. But yeah, it's really important. Uh, it's a real thing. Mm -hmm. But make sure you're still giving again all five, but mm -hmm. emphasize more on the couple things or make them more often. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, guys, comment down below what your love languages are, and comment down below if you think that you've never really had this conversation with a partner and if it would actually make a difference i actually challenge people to do this actually right after you watch this episode and even if you don't have a partner maybe do it with your siblings or do it with your friend we find a partner yeah or we'll help you find a partner watch the other episodes um <laughs> but literally ask the people around you like how can i make you feel the most loved or you can even just say appreciated yeah. how can i make you feel that and you will see you'll be surprised by what they say and you'll be like wow i really be doing the most when that's not even what they wanted half the time like it's the other way that. around right i used to be that so yeah same until i just asked but anyways guys make sure that you tag two friends follow i hate to say show on instagram every single week we do a 100 dollars bitcoin giveaway and we are posting people on our story so make sure that you repost us as well but you all, you all, you guys, until then, stay, stay rich, rich and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.